In Minnesota, we've been studying the school to prison pipeline and have learned a lot of important facts. The message of this picture is black boys can get pushed out of school and end up in a penitentiary. For example, the black boy is getting kicked out of school by a white person. Then he goes to he goes into a pipe that leads to the state penitentiary. Lastly, I see the in the picture electrical wires at a watch house which shows he's finally in jail and can't get out. Kicking black boys out of school is a way of taking them back to slavery times when blacks had no school, couldn't learn how to read, and were un uneducated. This is this really makes me mad because in the penitentiary he can't learn or be free. The message is black boys can do good things or bad things and still get kicked out of school. In picture three, the boy is sitting down. He's looking at his teacher like he didn't do nothing and he's quiet. And then the white teacher kicked him out of class. In picture two, the white police officer is searching the boy. The boy is holding his hands up with a book in his hands. In picture five, the boy is sitting in his cell and still reading a book. After seeing this picture, I asked myself this question. Does it matter if black boys do good or bad things? It doesn't matter because this black boy came to school and as soon as he got there, he he's being treated like a prisoner going through a metal detector. As soon as he goes to class, the teacher is yelling at him. It's just wrong. I'm feeling fierce because the boy is trying to learn and they are treating him really bad. I don't want to experience this when I grow up. Black boys are being suspended more than any other race. For example, black boys were suspended from school more than white for eight years. Over eight years, black boys were suspended two times more than whites. The number never, never really went down. I began to ask myself, do black boys behave worse than white boys? So I did my research and found out the answer was no. They, they are not behaving worse, but they are getting different consequences. Bringing a cell phone to class is not a big deal, but black boys have been arrested and suspended for it. They should just get their phone taken away and given back at the end of the day. Black boys have gotten in trouble for passing gas. Passing gas in class is not really much. Everyone does it, so why should black boys get suspended for something everyone does? I feel this is ridiculous and unfair. This picture shows that black students receive worse punishments than whites. For example, blacks are expelled, arrested, suspended, and more likely to not graduate high school as whites. 70% of students involved in, in school arrests are referred to law enforcement or black or Latino. It makes me wonder why black people are involved in school arrests. Maybe it is because of racism, because the students are black and the teachers are white. Blacks get suspended more than whites for doing the same thing. I wonder why blacks are more more likely to be suspended than whites. Some people think that black students are known for doing bad things, and that may be why they give them harsher punishments. But black students should be treated the same as other students. We are going to fight this stereotype by doing the right thing. The claim in this picture is if you go to jail, you will get paid less when you get out. First, in the picture, there is a man at a fast food restaurant that went to jail, and his head is done because he is getting low payments. Second, the picture shows the judge is enforcing laws that lead to low paying jobs. These laws are made to give convicts a consequence for their actions. However, I don't think these laws are fair because, fair because the judge gives you a consequence. But when you get out of jail, society continues to punish you by giving you a low-paying job.